What's up? This is Chris from Metrofame. So today, let's have a look at the Star W92. So another smartphone from the, the, the Star brand. So this smartphone, uh, just to say a quick specifications about it, it's like a five inches uh, IPS screen, uh, octa core six five nine two uh, for the processor from MediaTek, and resolution of twelve hundred eighty by seven hundred twenty. So. As you can see, you know, we have the packaging here, so we can open it and have a look inside. So, of course, we do have the phone itself, as usual, and what is inside of the box? So, we have the S cover case here, as you can see it. And uh, I will show you, you know, how it works uh, later on. So, with uh, a magnet, as you can see here. Okay. Otherwise, we have the usual manual here for Android, so in English, so no problem at all. Then we have two batteries of 2700 mAh, okay? So as you can see here, 2000, okay? Then we have uh, some earphones, so I will show you. So here, as you can see, okay. So with a 3.5 mm jack, of course. Then we do have uh, a USB charger directly with the European plug, okay. And otherwise. We have, of course, um, a USB cable, so USB, micro USB, as you can see here, okay. Alright, so that's it for inside of the box, not much, not less. So then, now we can have a look actually at the phone, okay. So, the Star W92 is a 5 inches uh, IPS screen, as I told you before. Uh, dual cameras, so one on the front, which is like um, 5 megapixels, and on the back, the 13 megapixels with flashlight, and the, the back camera is out of focus. Okay, so otherwise, we have here so the, the speaker, as you can see. Then on the side, uh, we have the volume button here, as you can see it. Then we have the USB plug and the button with the microphone here. We have the speaker on the back, the power button on the side too, and here you can have a closer look at the camera itself. And on the top we have the 3.5 mm jack, uh, as usual, I mean like most of the time this is on the top. Okay, so uh, that's it for, for the phone. and. Um, so it's very thin, it's a 7.9 millimeters uh, thickness, so it's very very thin, and it's pretty light. So, so we can have a look actually inside, and uh, in order to see what's, what's going on, okay? So, let's open it, I will show you everything. So, uh, just to show you quickly, this is a plastic back cover, which looks like a... Um, a gray gray metal frame but this is plastic okay then inside um, so we do have um, we can have a quick look here so we have two sim cards and one micro sim uh, one micro SD card okay so the both of the sim cards they are WCDMA as you can see here so 850 to uh, 2100 and GSM okay GPS, Wi-Fi, WCGMA, W92 star, okay? So, that's it for the phone. So it's a IPS FHD screen of 5 inches with a resolution of 1280 by 720. So, that's it basically for, uh, for the appearance of the phone. And uh, I think now the best is just to put the battery and to get started, okay? You know, then... 
All right. All right. So here we go inside of the star W92. So we have the menu basically. So we can have a quick look at the applications inside. So as you can see here, so we have some different applications, documents to go, camera, file manager, flashlight, gallery, Gmail. So we we do have the Play Store as you can see. So the music settings and Wi-Fi everything. So we can have a look here at the menu. So you can change whatever you want. And we can go to the settings right away. Okay. So we have SIM management, of course, because we have two WCDMA SIM cards, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth on it. Uh, you can have a wireless display that you can like the languages. So here we go with all the different languages that we have so you can have a look at the list and check if you have yours or not okay so the, the list is pretty huge no problem okay you will probably find yours inside okay so we can come back and um, otherwise so we have some developer options if you want to have a quick look at what you got okay Then uh, for the storage, so we can see here, this is uh, basically a 16 gigabytes um, internal memory, sorry. So we already have five gigabytes taken, you know, okay, four, four to five gigabytes taken. So for the battery, battery I already told you it's a 2700 mAh battery and we have two provided in the, um, in the package, okay. So for the, we have gesture sensing, so I will show you uh, later, so we can activate it and uh, we will see then how it works, okay. Otherwise, uh, we have LED notifications, of course. Uh, you can have a factory data reset and uh, here as you can see we have um, the model number and here it's said Android 4.4 uh, however uh, just to be honest you know, if we check you know they say Android 4.4 but Jellybean is here written so here we guess that actually it's an Android 4.3 version maybe and modified uh, into 4.4. We are not sure yet no, about it, but just to, to show you what is going on. So for the sounds, you can check an audio enhancer for, for earphones. You can check it, choose whatever you want. For the display, you also have something for the video fluency enhancer, um, G sensor calibration, uh, S cover view too, so we will check it, you know, very very quickly. And security, so you have your Google account, as I show you, because you have the Google Play Store on it, so you can access to the Play Store and download your your favorite apps. Okay, so now we can come back, and what I want to show you is actually the um, the S cover case, and uh, to show you that it really works and it's pretty useful. So it's the same here. Usually, what you have to do is like to take off the uh, the back cover here the gray back cover and you have to put it to put this one uh, instead so once it's done your phone will be like that and what you do you just like close it and you will see that it's working perfectly this is what we get okay so you can <coughs> okay here this is the screen you will get okay if you open it it comes back you put it back you have it okay so you can put the magnet here, so it will close perfectly and protects your phone very, very nice, you know, without hiding the camera or the flashlights and uh, your speakers too, okay. So that's what, what you would get. That was just to show you what is going on. So uh, now 
I want to to open the the end to x benchmark. So for the people who don't really know, the the end to benchmark allows you to to test the performances of your device and uh, to get more information about the the specifications and the technical details, basically about the device. So here we already did the the benchmark for you. So we got a score of twenty five thousand, right about. So it's considered like a good score nowadays, which is not too bad. So we can have a look at the ranking and the bar charts and um, see where it is exactly. So between the Galaxy Note 2 and the HTC One and a bit before the, the Samsung Galaxy S4, okay. But uh, in order really to understand what is going on, we better check the device info. So here, as you can see, so W92, uh, Android 4.4, but we we guess you know this is like a, a modified version maybe we're not sure you know so this is a MTK uh, MT6592 so the latest processor octa core processor from Mediatek uh, the graphic processor is a Mali 450MP which is a good one um, the resolution 1280 by 720 13 megapixels camera uh, no root access we will check it just in a short while um, we know it's a 2 gigabytes RAM and 16 gigabytes of internal memory. Um, so octa core clocked at 1.7 gigahertz, Mali 450 as I said before, 320 dpi for the density, multi-touch we will just test it in a short while. We have 13 megapixels here on the back and as I said before 5 megapixels on the front, okay. so. Uh, if we go a bit down, so of course Wi-Fi for the sensors, you can see what it gets. Acceleration sensor, direction sensor, light sensor, econ pass proximity. And we don't have a gyro, gyro, nothing relative, linear rotation, anything else. Only a few sensors, okay? So that's just for the quick specifications, basically. Now you know exactly what you have inside of your phone. and. Um, now if we want to check, so I told you before that we were activating the the air gestures, so we should have the air view then, you know. So if we switch between everything, so we can start right away here. As you can see, it's working. So I don't have to touch the screen and I'm rotating and jumping between, okay. So, um, and we do have LED notifications too, just to, to, to remind you. Otherwise, uh, before just just before I was talking about the root access, so let's check it. So here, they say nothing fancy, just normal user. Basically, the the app means that the the phone is not rooted. So if you want to install a custom ROM uh, on it, a custom Android version, you will have to actually um, root the phone first. But bear in mind that if you root the phone, you will void the warranty so you will lose the warranty okay that was just to tell you so otherwise what we want to test on it is like we first we can first put the um, okay let's have a quick look at the display and check the brightness let's put the brightness to the maximum okay here we go and now we can have a look at the different colors high renders if you want to have a look so red blue green, black of course, blue, a different blue, and white. Okay, so the, the multi-touch, uh, if we try it, as you can see, this is a five-touch, um, so IPS FHD screen, okay? So, here we can come back, and um now we can have a look actually it's uh we don't know anything so far about the sound and about you know how it renders on the screen about anything but like cameras and and, and videos so i do have uh, a video for you so it's a gopro video so hd video and we can actually check you know how it renders on it okay so let's put the sound to the maximum and check you know how it renders okay so we can check the angles. So it's 
So we can go a bit further. The sound is correct, not as powerful as other phones, but it does the job. It's large enough if you want to watch a movie, for example. And as you can see, you know, there's some lagging, it's nothing, and it's rendering pretty nice on this 5 inches IPS screen, okay? Resolution of 1280 by 720, okay? So, we can stop and go back, and now let's try actually the the graphic performances you know so we can launch this game which is asphalt 8 so it's um it's a racing game sorry and available on the on the play store all right so we can start Let's see what's going on. So as you can see, no problem at all to play the game. It's very smooth, no lag at all. So this is what you will get basically. Okay. Okay, so we can go back now. And um okay, last thing I want to show you is actually uh if we take a picture, so to, to check the resolution of it, so we go to camera right away and we can take a picture of uh it's like a a teapot, you know. So So now what I want to show you is for the camera so we can try to test quickly the, the resolution. So here I have like a little teapot and uh, I will then take a picture out of it and we can go on it and we can zoom and see what's going on. Okay, so we can check the full how it renders, you know. Okay. All right. So, so basically, this is it for the Star W92. So this is uh, an octa-core MT6592 clocked at 1.7 gigahertz, uh, Mali 450 MP for the graphic processor, 1280 by 720 for the resolution, two cameras, 30 megapixels on the back and five megapixels on the front. 5 inches IPS, uh, IPS FHD screen, uh, 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of RAM, not rooted, RJ Stur, 
uh, LED notifications, two batteries of 2700 mAh and um, 7.9 mm thick and uh, you can put a micro SIM card uh, up to 64 gigabytes uh, on it so this is what you get for uh, a clone of the Lenovo S960 okay so it's if you really like it uh, you can visit our website to, to buy it so at www.electrofame.com and uh, if you feel like uh, leaving a comment below, feel free. And um, otherwise, uh, hope you enjoy it. And uh, see you later for the next one. Then. Thank you.